Yeah, first off, I just want to uh, tell everyone how honored um, and excited I am to be sitting on the stage right now as the head football coach for you. Uh, obviously, extremely fortunate to have great leadership at our university with our athletic director, Rob Mullins, President Schill. Um, excited about the direction of our program, excited about being part of the fastest growing brand in college football. Um, since 2010, there's been nine teams that have played for a national championship. And fortunate enough that Oregon's done that twice. Um, multiple conference championships in one, of this, in one of this place. And obviously we had 2.5, uh, 7 million viewers tuning in every single week to watch our games, which is top 10 in the nation and, and best in our conference, which is obviously exciting. Uh, we've continued to recruit at a really high level. Uh, excited to continue to bring great recruits to our place. And, and we have an innovative approach in the way we do that. Um, you know, one thing that I will say about all that success, though, is that's past success. And this is the 2022 team. And we have to be focused on what we're going to do in the year 2022 as a team and staff. Um, in fact, I think each one of those experiences is totally unique and different to us. So moving forward, you know, one thing that, that certainly changed in this offseason for us is our team has a boy. We're missing a brother in Spencer Webb who we lost in a tragic accident. Um, and, you know, we've spent a lot of time together um, as a family and mourned his loss. And, something that you certainly cannot replace. But time, um, with a heart, it only grows fonder. And we, we want to live, when I talk to our players um, about that moment. And Spencer, you know, on your tombstone, there's a day when you were born, there's a day you know, when you pass. But what made Spencer special is how he lived, that dash in between those two numbers. Um, so we want to live uh, and create a dash that's meaningful. And uh, I think our Get Real sessions have been really beneficial to our team. You know, we finished off our summer workouts with the climb up Spencer's Butte, which will be an annual tradition to honor him. You know, and our theme this season we move forward as we honor Spencer is really growth. You know, I have a conversation with our team about the bamboo plant uh, and how over time we'll water that plant every single day. Um, and at, at times you don't see the growth. It hasn't, you know, it hasn't come out of the ground. Um, but at, at some point that, that plant breaks ground and it grows exponentially. And I'm excited to see that investment in our team. I'm excited to see us continue to, you know, build and, um, you know, continue to, to grow in that effort um, as we focus on the process, uh, the process and the investment in our players. You know, the expectations of our team, you know, really outside of our room, it doesn't matter. We're focused on the opinions of the people in our program um, and, and collecting 24-hour wins you know, with that growth mindset. You know, I have... Uh, I also want to extend an extreme gratitude to our players in our program. Uh, it's been a pleasure to work with those guys day in and day out. They've, they're true professionals. They love each other. Um, you know, we're focused on, we talk about it a lot, we call it power of unit and connection. That's been a big piece for us. Fortunately, I have the best staff in the nation. I feel really confident in that. I was able to go collect some great players. Um, I'm proud of the two players I was actually able to bring on this trip. You know, Alex Forsyth is a seasoned veteran. You know, both these guys come here today as graduates, college graduates working on their second degrees, uh, which is exciting for me. Uh, and obviously, we talk about our investment in education, but those guys are great representation. Our program, Alex, has been here before, so I was able to lean on him to see what this day would look like. I'm really proud of DJ Johnson and the progress he's had this spring and the job he's done. Um, so thrilled to have those guys represent our program here today. Um, all that being said, I certainly couldn't pass the opportunity to recognize our first game, get to play a really familiar opponent uh, in Georgia in a neutral site game in Atlanta. Uh, certainly excited about going back and seeing some familiar faces with the goal of going there and uh, getting to compete against you know, a mentor and friend in Kirby Smart. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and open it up for questions. Okay, go ahead. Just remember to say your name and affiliation and please speak up too so we can hear you. Eric Scobel, 24 7 Sports. Uh, you, you spoke to growth there a moment ago, I guess. Just what kind of growth have you seen in the quarterback position this offseason, and, and how far into the fall will it be a, a competition? Do you have a, a deadline when you'd like to make a decision? Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, just at the end of the day, you want to know you have quarterbacks who probably think you're a win-win. And I think we have multiple guys that can do that. You know, with Bo, Ty, and Jay, have all been extreme competitors. But probably more than anything, I've been excited with their, their passion to improve, you know, to be. Elite, 
you know, to be a special player, you have to go above and beyond. And all of those guys have, you know, really contributed to the success of what work they did this summer when people weren't watching, uh, what it looked like when, when there weren't people standing out on the field assessing their efforts. Those guys have given a lot of extra, a lot of extra work. Coach Liam Aaron from the State Line Bar 5, how are you doing? Doing great. All right. To follow up on what you were talking about, the season over and going against your former team, I mean, are all the players fired up? It's not often, you know, teams get to open up against the reigning national champs. And, like, what's the emotion you can buy around the team for you playing that? Yeah, you know, honestly, we haven't spent a ton of focus on game one. I know our players are certainly excited to be on a national stage early and uh, get to play, obviously, the lead uh, opponent in Georgia that we're really familiar with, but guess what, they're also familiar with me. Um, you know, that being said, we're really focused on right now. I mean, can't play game one until you have practice one. Right? So that's that's our next approach. And to follow up on that, just with Pac-12 against the SEC, do you think that this game is so important for you know the Pac-12 overall, the national you know perspective, for you guys who are really throwing the show and show what the Pac-12 is all about? And with this spring forward, you know your team to you know run the table. You know, our goal is to win every single game with the University of Oregon. So certainly it's an important game, just like every game is important. And then after that game, the next game will be the next most important game. Um, so we're going to focus on that. Uh, well, Oregon, like I said, is a national brand. It's fun to be in a place where you get to play, play premier opponents like, like Georgia. Um, hey there, I'm Michael Lev with the Arizona Daily Star. Given the uh, changes that are happening, within the conference, within the sport itself, NIL, transfers, super conferences, conference realignment, all of that stuff. How do you feel about just the direction that the sport is headed? Say so, so that last part again. How do you feel about the direction that the sport is headed overall? Yeah, it seems to be ever changing, doesn't it? Um, you know, I've been asked a couple of times, what's it like being a first year head coach, you know, in this environment? And one thing I'll say is it's, it's probably pretty similar to being a 15 year head coach in this environment because everything's different. It continues to change. Um, you know, I think what we do at University of Oregon um, is we continue to put the, the focus of the players first. Uh, and I certainly want to see our players maximize their opportunities, whether that be uh, through name image likeness, they will position really well, be successful there. But we want to play an elite competition. I have, you know, I trust George and our leadership uh, in conference to continue to point us in the right direction there. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a fun, uh, ever changing day, and you always have to pay attention. There's usually a headline when you wake up in the morning. So, fun to adapt and be on your toes, and uh, certainly different to coaching.